I knew I was kind of different right from the time I can remember. I always kind of knew that I was not necessarily on the same path as a lot of my peers were as far as as far as my identity went. I didn't actually realize I was transgender until I was 30 years old. And then it took me about a year before I felt comfortable talking to really anyone about it um, besides my spouse. Before I did the big reveal, <laughs> I spoke to my admin um, just to make sure they knew what was happening and and to, I knew they would be on board and very supportive, but I just wanted to make sure that they, they were prepared for that. And so at the very last staff meeting in June, uh, they gave me space at the end of the meeting to stand up and I, that's what I did. I stood up in the staff meeting and I, and I told everyone, uh, thank you for being so supportive. And uh, when I come back in the fall, I'm going to be Michael and I'm going to be using he, him pronouns. And it was very nerve wracking. <laughs> I remember looking out and I remember seeing the faces and focusing in on a couple of the staff that I had become really close with and just watching them smile as I was talking. And it, it gave me again that little boost of confidence and it just, let me know that I was doing the right thing and that I was 100% going to have support after I was, after I had come out. When he got up to tell the staff, you could just tell that this was something that was right for him and that it was how he needed to live his life and live his life truthfully. So it was, um, I think everybody just recognized that he was this was what needed to happen. I'm glad that I let them know before the summer because the ones that I know spent a lot of time with me and who cared about me the most probably took some time to practice or I don't know if they did or not, but it just seemed like they probably did because uh, you know, pronouns came right away and they're just, I didn't sense any change in how people were relating to me at work. At the time, I remember thinking that I wasn't really all that surprised by it. And since then, I think it's just the feeling I had was that it was right, that that was how it was supposed to be. I think his experience that he has gone through within his life just makes him the perfect person for students who are um, identifying as LGBTQ to go to, to talk about those issues. Um, and he's just willing to you know share his background with them and just has a way of maybe making them feel a little bit more um, understood and at ease within who they are growing up in a small town i didn't even know any lgbtq people at all and so i can't even imagine what that would have felt like to to have a teacher who was you know, openly gay or openly transgender, that would have, that would have been pretty powerful, I think. For me, I guess I often feel a little bit like the only voice at the table sometimes. Um, as being queer, there's not a lot of other educators out there. And so hearing that there was not only someone else who was out there, but who had like paved this brave way and it was just like yeah it was just really cool representation matters for the students but it also matters for colleagues like i know like lots of my colleagues are out at home but maybe not out at work um, they might be afraid of pushback or just uncomfortable questions or whatever that is and the more we can just like see it and talk about it and not be afraid of those conversations and just like face them head on i think the better, the more progress we'll make in that area. Literally the only thing I hope that my students take away from any encounter with me personally is that it's okay to be who you are. You are perfectly okay exactly the way you are.